Hey guys, did a little Black Friday shopping and I wanted to show you what I got. Let's get started. Alright, so I actually did not get up super early today, but I actually did um, venture out and take a look at the local stores to see what was available. And I ended up buying a uh, external hard drive. Um, I probably normally wouldn't buy something like this except for uh, a couple days ago my brother-in-law uh, gave me his laptop and he said uh, this isn't working can you take a look and uh, it's an older laptop it had a hundred and uh, 120 gig um, hard drive in there that's original to the laptop and the laptop itself was just blue screening and then when I took a look uh, he had it loaded up to the max with just games and a bunch of other stuff so uh, I recommended that he either get a new laptop which he couldn't afford <laughs> Uh, or get a new hard drive. Uh, so I actually was out today and I saw this in a Best Buy. I think this was like 30 bucks and uh, even though this is an external hard drive uh, a comparable 500 gig internal hard drive was something like seventy dollars. So uh, I know because this is a small hard drive that inside that case is the appropriate hard drive that I care about. So the plan is, is that I'm gonna take this and uh, make sure that it works and then I'm gonna crack it open take the hard drive out and uh, install it in his computer at least that's what the plan is off camera I did cut the uh, little plastic sticker and let me show you the box itself this is a Toshiba external drive I think that's Canvio uh, it's a Canvio basics 3.0 it's a USB 2 USB 3 external uh, 500 gig hard drive pretty basic um, you get the drive USB cable and some instructions that's what the side looks like so let's pop this open so USB cable that's an interesting plug right there and USB 3 so you see the blue connector there. So we've got instruction guide in a bunch of different languages. And then the drive itself. So this is actually kind of cool. It's a, like a matte finish. I think that's an indicator light maybe. I think that's what that is. You can see that. Here's the back, rubberized grippy feet, there's your plug, that's it, pretty basic. I would like to preserve this case uh, because I can reuse it when I have other uh, small two and a half inch drives that I want to check out. Typically uh, with these kind of cases they're normally just snapped together uh, so there's probably a couple of points here uh, where you've got some tabs that you know sort of lock in uh, place. Uh, there aren't any screws and I don't feel any screw heads underneath here. I peeled back one of these little um, rubber feet and there was no screw uh, screws underneath here. So I think I'm just going to have to pry this open. Uh, I only have like screwdrivers. I don't have any fancy um, you know like plastic tools I guess. You can, you can get these uh, tools online that uh, are meant to uh, take stuff apart. But I don't have that so I'm just going to make do with what I got. So let me see if I can't figure out how to crack this open and uh, let's see what happens. Made a little progress. I'm actually using just a zip tie and I was able to wedge it in between the uh, two edges there and you can kind of see the little gap right here and inside there it's tough to see and tough to show on camera but inside there there's actually uh, a little tab that's uh, right above here and then uh, like a little catch on the bottom and I was able to wedge the zip tie in there uh, undo that side and there's another one of those uh, like little tabs right here so you can see it's it's all shiny here because this is the edge and then there's like a little gap here where the other tab is so I think if we run this in there it's a little bit more apparent you can actually see 
the other tab. So I'm going to keep going around the uh, case and I'm going to see if I can't open it, but so far it's looking very promising. I think now we got it. I was able to put the other zip tie here and then just very gently I pried it open. You can actually see now the tab is actually on the bottom, not on the top. And then just very gently I'm pulling it apart just around the case and you see this part came apart over here or this part came apart and it's just popping off like that. Now I want to be careful while I do this because I don't know what's on the other side uh, of the case obviously the hard drive but I don't know if there's any loose pieces and I don't want to lose anything so uh, this is a little bit difficult to do on camera so let me take the cover off and I'll show you what it looks like inside there you go tops off and it is just snapped into place underneath of course is the hard drive the top here is the uh, little control board, so power um, board, so I'll take your standard SATA connector and then uh, give you this output here so you can connect your cable. And then there's these little uh, rubberized feet over here for some basic shock absorption, I guess. So here and here. And then this should just lift out. Okay. Here's the rubber feet here, which actually that came out. Here's the other one. I don't want to pull too t um, hard because I don't want to break the drive, but you can s or break the uh, rubber foot there. But you can see the drive is lifting out. Now, what I want to be careful of, and what uh, I've learned this from experience, you don't want to pull too hard on these kind of things because you can see that this is still packed in here pretty tight, and the cable connection on the side here on the back is I think a little bit recessed there so I don't want to damage this especially if I want to reuse it so that popped out and there's the other foot that fell behind here and then this just like lifted out so there's the inside or the other side of the case and this is like just plastic you know it almost looks like there's shrink wrap or something uh, like that kind of uh, plastic that would be like on the front of a monitor or something that you would peel out but there's nothing doesn't look like it anyways uh, here's the little window for the indicator light and then the two rubber feet and then here's the drive this is a Toshiba drive uh, where are we well we know it's a 500 gig hard drive so here you go 500 gig and then this little controller up at the top actually I'm going to get rid of these other rubber feet here those guys this controller uh, we can probably just wiggle out there you go and we have a 500 gig hard drive let me show you this little controller board that I pulled out you can see you've got your standard SATA power and your SATA data plug over here and then on the other side of course is the uh, plug for the cable USB cable which will provide power of course and data uh, right here and I'll get uh, a little zip tie so I can point that right there uh, that little yellow guy right there is the status LED and what's neat about this is I now have a very small simple controller that I can plug into any hard drive that I have uh, in theory and that gives me the ability to make um, uh, to do some really easy diagnostics on hard drives and can actually just plug this in plug the cable in and not have to worry about taking apart computers to take a look at um, either internal or external hard drives so this actually is pretty slick very small and uh, will do the job I think that's about it guys uh, this was the only uh, sort of techie Black Friday thing I've bought today so I don't think I'm going out again to buy anything uh, hopefully your Thanksgiving was good and your Black Friday if you're doing any kind of shopping whether it be online or actually at a store uh, is safe <laughs> and that you're not getting trampled 
Uh, definitely follow me on Twitter. You'll get updates on when new videos are uploaded to the channel, as well as some other high-quality tweets from me, because uh, they're ever so entertaining. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. So see you next time.